Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn about API with post method. Okay. The first one you will learn why do we use post method? How to set up postman with uh, how to set up postman for post API code for post API and also test API with postman. So the first one why do we use post method? We use post method for sending data from front end to the back end. For example, in the sign up form, you will send the user password or email to the back end. Okay. For get method, it's a little bit different. We use a get method for getting data to from database to list down the information like customer information, device information. Okay. So in this case, I will example you use Porsche method uh, like uh, device information send it through the API and will uh, insert to the, the database okay so now let's go to practice together and you will see clearly about how to do it with the example okay so this is my uh, let me clear it all it is my old projects let me delete it okay so now i have new terminal in this case i will create one controller for testing it okay my controller is php artisan makes controllers my controller name is device controller and now let's go to see my controller go to http controller device controller here i create one function so my function is sorry function my function is add and i just return uh, some string like here it is should be as an array like this result and in here I just put the mistake like my sorry data has been saved okay now I create one route for the function. We go to route and API because this is we focus on the API. Okay, so we create route in API.php route push and then my URL is add and controller name is device controller class and my function is add in this don't forget to import the controller by put like this use apps http controller and your controller name is device controller just save it now let's test it with the postman we go to postman click it new here and we need to choose the post method here okay i just write some uh, json data to send it to the back end so in this we use body we click on body we click raw and the text here you choose json it is the standard form okay this the, the standard data so i just write like this so i just put something like name mm -hmm. and here is uh, email sorry Dara. 
in here should be like this okay and email just an example first and then I will correct it later at gmail.com like this so let me go to my projects and run my projects php artisan so this is the ULR projects and then copy this to put in the APIs so this is you space the APIs and then the URL or you might say the raw name adds you just send it okay you can see is the response the result data has been saved okay you can look at our function here this is a very simple string so in this case I will send the data in here to the function and I will insert this to my database table in here called device so now we create one model for connecting to the table device and we'll uh, writing the code for testing it so let me create one more model php artisan makes model my model name should be singular so it must be device okay it's so let me check in my controller here device so in this case we no need to use time spam so I just put time spam Okay, so we let me save it and then I go to my um, here's my function. So we need to import the controller. So apps model and then model name is device. In this case, we get some data from Postman, so we need to use request. So request yes, like this. And then, as I have one parameter, I declare as one parameter like this is new device okay so device let me check with the column name here so the id is the auto number so we will insert only uh, device name and user ids so in here we put device name equal rec so this is the key from postman you look at this and I correct this to let me correct this mm, device name okay so like apple 10 and in here is let me check it should be the same as so here user id mm -hmm. user id i just put 10 like this i move back to our function so this is should be the y name 
and then we go to divide so here is user id equal rec mm, user sorry okay user id mm -hmm. and then we declare one result equal dy and then we use the fun the function save okay so in this case we need condition if result true if result true we will return the string like this so if is not true we will like fail okay like this let me save it okay we go to our postman and we click send it again it's a little bit error let me check so in here is unknown column okay I have something wrong on my time span in controller sorry in model here so let me let me save it again it's incorrect here and let me send it again so now you can see is the result that that has been saved and you can check in the database in here click on divide and you can see is the data so you can insert more like apple influence in this also and we send it again okay data has been saved we check it again okay you will see here so that's all for my presentation about um, how to use api with post method if you have any question you can ask me and see you in the next video thank you bye bye